Hello, this is Dan Nobles, and welcome back to creating a realistic or lifelike character using Blender and Make Human. Um, I have the character here, and I brought the camera in for kind of a close-up face face shot here, uh, just to show you how this renders out. If we do, you know, a real close-up view of this uh, character that we brought in, and as you can see, as it's rendering. Um, the face texture that comes in is just uh, really nice, the one that's available from the Make Human program. And the reason I, I did this face shot is because I want you to see this hair also. This hair is what's on the texture itself, so it's it's flat. And it's, you know, it's fine if you want, uh, you know, your character to have flat hair. Or you can use some of the hair that's in the Make Human program itself if, if you want to use you know just stick with something that's out of the box and you can't change but uh, a lot of times you want to be able to change your character's hair and, and make a little bit more unique so that's what we're going to do so we're going to use blender in order to add hair to this character uh, keep in mind that I am not the greatest on hair modeling I'll show you what I know at this point in time on how to do this but definitely encourage you to look out on the web and you know look at other hair tutorials and people actually that actually know what they're doing. So I'm going to go into three side view, select the character, go into tab, into edit mode, and you want to be in vertex mode. And I'm going to use the C key just to select some vertices here. And I would go down probably to this point here because this this is going to be the the scalp that. Uh, tells Blender where the hair is going to actually come out of. I wouldn't go too far down unless you want the hair to come out, you know, come down that far, I guess. But you'll kind of see how it works uh, as you add the hair. And you just want to select all these vertices in this area. And again, I'm just using the uh, C key, to C tool to paint the um, the area that I'm selecting. If you make a mistake, just use the middle mouse button to deselect a drag and deselect or escape to get out of the, that selection tool. And this one right there. Okay, so. This is where I want the hair to grow, for lack of a better word. And I'm going to go into the object data and into the vertex groups, create a new group. I'm going to change this to name it scalp. And I'm going to assign this vertex group. And you can test that by, you know, deselecting and selecting. Okay, tab back in the object mode. Okay, so once you have your uh, scalp uh, vertex group completed there, just go into particles up here, add a new particle, and I'm going to change this particle system, just uh, name it hair. And then you want to change the type to hair, and immediately you'll see hair all over your model's body, which unless you're making them some kind of furry creature then you probably really don't want so then you come down to density under the vertex groups and choose that and if you start typing the name of your vertex group SCAL it'll bring it up and click uh, enter and then you see the hair immediately applied to the model which looks pretty strange right now but we're gonna fix that so usually what I do uh, right off the bat is go to the hair length and this is pretty long here I mean probably for a guy you would do like 0.6 or something and I, I do want long hair for the female so I'm gonna try three just for the heck of it see what happens Okay, the next thing that you'll notice is the hair is kind of silvery looking. Right now it is set to use material one and if we go back to our materials, it's actually using the character skin material, which we don't want. 
So we're going to create a new material. Click New. Uh, let's name this Hair or whatever you want. And I think I'm going to try to do black hair here, or at least sort of black. We'll see how this see how this works. Now you'll need to know where this material is in the scheme of things, so I just go up here and go, okay, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's the ninth material, so go back to particles and then just change this to number nine. Okay, and you've seen it turn black there. Okay, so we did a render right now. Uh, it's still going to look very strange, but just to show you kind of what it looks like, because when I'm watching these tutorials, I'm always anxious to see, okay, you know, you did that. Now, what does it look like, actually? Even though we may have to wait on the render for a few seconds here. <laughs> so we got this long spiky hair that's coming out of her head and it's kind of funky looking right now. So you get the idea right there. So we're going to stop that and then immediately we can go into uh, just go into uh, you need to select your character and go into particle mode. Once you go into particle mode you can hit T bring up your tools and grab a comb. I usually go into three side view and start dragging your comb across the character's head. And just feel free to comb the hair in any way that you feel like it should look. My computer's being quite choppy right now, but I've uh, I've got it running like four different things, so it's I can't complain too much. Okay, I'm really liking the length of the hair. That's kind of what I wanted. Okay, and then just go to your front view, one on the keypad. And although it looks like the hair is in front of her face, oops, didn't want to do that. It's really not. And of course, you can come down here to the occlude button. <laughs> you can see it a little bit better. I guess some of it is on the front of her face. Made a liar out of me. Okay, not a problem. Just comb it back. Looks like I'm missing a lot of hair. Well, I know why. Looks like I'm missing a lot of hair on top of the head, but there's a lot of the settings that still need to be changed or tweaked. Okay, so what's this look like now? Pretty scraggly hair. But also kind of neat. Okay, so she's starting to come to life. Um, so go back into particles and go to children. I usually use the interpolated instead of simple. It takes a little bit longer to render, but it's a lot nicer. Uh, right now I'm rendering a hundred. I'm gonna knock that down a little bit because it's gonna take forever to render. And turn the seeds up a little bit. Um, anything else here? Okay. Let's see what that looks like. And while that's rendering away, I'll just I'm going to open up 
view here just to show you what I'm rendering. I'm rendering this cloud scene and I got the spaceship coming up out of the clouds and this is uh, so far uh, I'm at 19 percent time left 530 hours so it's taken quite a while I'm on uh, frame 226 of 1213 so that's not what's slowing me down I don't really don't want to stop that because I'm letting it run as as long as I possibly can <laughs> so you can see when I turn on all that those options uh, we're getting kind of a kind of a mess here so in order to fix some of that um, we can go into the material right now I have it as black uh, let's see let's go into the uh, texture we want a new texture uh, let's call this here texture and change it to blend go into colors turn on your ramp and I'm going to change the alpha here a little bit I'm going to add another one change the alpha add another one move that up a little bit and then I'm going to move these together a little bit so that it gives us sort of a, a blend of what we're trying to do is is put a blend of transparency on the hair I'm not expert at this I'm still trying to learn what exactly this ramp is doing when I mess, mess around with all the values but just play around with it try to get a blend that looks nice you can do a um, show the material go to hair strands and it'll give you an idea of, of what it's looking like and it's really way too visible I think might be able to tweak the transparency I just turned the transparency on okay so let's, let's do another render wait another 10 years drop in to make human while this is going so you won't be completely bored and you can see that you know all I did was just add some clothes to the character and um, added skin I tweaked the eyes a little bit I didn't really do a whole lot of work to the character but hopefully um, you were able to tweak your character it's I didn't go through all that stuff because it's very self-explanatory on on how to use this basically where people run into a problem is when they start to do the export there's still some functions in here that I haven't even looked at so and every time I I download this program they've they've done more work to it so it's definitely work in progress doing the next job with it too okay so a little bit better we definitely still have some problems going on you can see we're like missing the top of the head there um, there's a few things that you can do you go back into particles uh, I don't want quite that much hair I don't think and go into your material go to strand and I usually take the tip all the way down and then knock down the root quite a bit as well not not as much as the tip but quite a lot okay and let's render that out and I'll just cut the wait time in between the renders so you don't have to sit waiting on my renders okay so this is my latest render it's not quite finished but you can get the gist of it I think um, the hair is looking a little bit better but it's gray for one thing 
and unless that's what you're really going for it's probably the reason is is because I'm using the uh, that alpha ramp and I'm not quite understanding what I'm doing with that so I'll probably tweak that around and make it black or whatever the other thing is as you can see there's this big bald spot in the middle and I've never I've never had that issue before and I think the reason that I have that is once I can uh, escape out of this okay go into um, back into our select the character go into particle mode it's just the way I comb my hair I mean I, I combed it completely over to the to the side there although it seems to me that the hair should okay yep I combed it down completely I guess is what I did And when you're working with the um, with the hair particles, if you go in and you pull them up, you have to be very careful when you pull them up because it's the uh, change is just profound on the uh, the amount that they're going to show up in their ren in the render. But anyway, you can kind of do that and get an idea of of how that works. I'm doing just an awful job on this. But I just want to make sure that that was the issue is where I'm getting this bald head from because I got a lot of awful lot of hair up there and I've covered the completely selected the scalp when I created my vertex group. So I'm going to render it again. Okay, as you can see, the hair's still a mess, but <laughs> you the uh, combing is, is a lot of what's happening here. As long as I get it combed right, I think that'll straighten out. And as it was rendering, I was uh, going through and tweaking some of the changes. I went into the uh, texturing. That's not going to show up because I don't have the model selected. But I went into particle and I chose strand render and B-spline also. And you can just kind of just play around with these settings to see what they do. And like I said, I'm not the best when it comes to hair I'm still learning it so just check out some of the other tutorials on hair on the web but as you can see um, I mean already we got something that's starting to look correct and uh, the other setting I was talking about if I select it and go into the texturing I just was changing some of these uh, values as far as the alpha and all that and uh, still find trying to find you know the best best method for me on how to do this I've, I've seen hair done just several different ways in different tutorials so I'm trying to find out you know probably the best best method that I want to use as you can see haven't found it yet but uh, if you follow me into the next part of the tutorial, what I'm going to do is take the character just a step further and bring the texture into, you can use either Paint Shop or, or I'm sorry, Photoshop, well, Paint Shop Pro whatever, or GIMP, whatever you want to use, and uh, do a little bit of extra tweaking in there to the texture. So until then, see you soon.